Hello, welcome back to Mark's House and Garden. Now, I live in the country, which is why you can hear a combine harvester in the background gathering up the hay, but I've just seen something quite fascinating down here at the wildlife pond, and that is, I think, a hummingbird hawk moth. Now, I'm tracking it with the camera. It's on the far side of the pool. But if, I'm, if I stay still, I'm hoping that it will come near me. Um, it's just alighted landed on an iris on the other side of the pond so we going to try and get close to it now very carefully i am wearing green it's just flown off again it's over there again now i'm wearing green here it comes down here it's a beautiful thing it's like a a great big fat bee can you see it flying past the camera there i hope the camera is picking it up here it comes again i'm going to stand still that will be my strategy i'll stand still I hope that it flies past close enough. It's landing on that side, that's what it's doing. So I will go over there and wait for it to come to me and wait for it to land. I do apologise for the combine harvester. Hope you can cope with it. Here it comes. It's on a piece of grass down here. It's an amazing creature. Wow. I'm not sure what it is. It's got two pairs of wings. A very blue body and it's moving around the circumference of the pond towards me and it's landed it's nearly landed it's nearly landed right in front of me I'm just desperate for it to stop still long enough it, I think it might be some kind of dragonfly but it's got a blue body two pairs of wings it's on that piece of grass right there and it's flown again. Let's stay still. It's now, <laughs> it's now gone to the side of the pond where I was. It's coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back. All the drama and tension of insect spotting here at the, uh, the wildlife pond at Mark's House and Garden UK. So typically it's now gone over there near the Amberleys where I was. Oh, now there's another one, but that's an orange coloured one. Now that's interesting. That's exactly the same creature, but it's orange. Can you see that there? There are also damselflies. The two of them have got together. Now that's fascinating. There's two of them in tandem. I think they're mating. They are mating right in front of our eyes. How incredible and spectacular. And they're doing it on my side of the pond and where I hope the camera can get them. And now the brown one is going down to the water surface. And I wonder if we will now see that lay eggs. Um, I'm trying my best to keep still and capture the action. Wow. This is why I built this wildlife pond. This is why I created it, to, to see things like this. Extraordinary wildlife that I've never seen before in my life. The blue one is, look at that. They're dancing in the air in front of us like they're doing aeronautics. There's the yellow one again, down near the water surface. I will Google these. I'll try and capture an image of these and I'll Google them and find out what they are. They're absolutely incredible. I'm hoping I've got that. This is happening within a metre of my eyes. The blue one is over there. And it's now gone in search of the brown one again. How do they find each other, these creatures? How do they manage to locate each other? Perhaps they make some kind of humming noise that they can... They're over there near that stone at the moment. Let's go and see if we can get close to them. Whilst they're distracted by each other, I might be able to get close enough to them to, to get some footage of them. They're right behind those flag irises. On One of them is dipping its the bottom end of its thorax or abdomen into the water. And I wonder whether that's actually laying eggs. Down there, right in front of us, the two of them. The blue one and the goldy brown one. Astonishing. I mean, if you're getting this, this is going to be an interesting video for you. And I just don't know whether my GoPro camera has got the, the definition to 
get this. Let's sneak up behind this flag iris and see if we can capture it doing its thing. Can you see it dipping its tail? Dip, 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 dip. They're right in front of our eyes. I'm going to assume that's the female. I'm going to assume that the blue one, which is waiting patiently nearby, is the male. And this is some kind of incredible action if it's being picked up on camera. Let's just go a bit closer without distracting them. Isn't that amazing? This is the reason I created a wildlife pond and they've now flown away. Wow. I hope that's come through. We do have some damselflies as well in tandem doing the same thing. Um, they've also just landed down here near these arum lilies. That's wonderful. Every day I come out here and see something new and different and interesting. And here's a damselfly, bright blue, tiny, tiny, thin. There's two of them there in the grass together. And again, I'm hoping that this is the camera is good enough to get them on on shot. They're just exquisite. They're tiny, tiny fragments of fluorescent blue hanging in the air. The combine harvester is just behind that tree there. I don't know if you can see it moving in the distance, but so um, quite wonderful. Well, I mean, totally blessed, really. I've seen frogs, toads, newts, birds, bats, and now some kind of extraordinary hovering insect. Wonderful. Um, there's two more damselflies there, a green and a blue together. Just landed on a water lily there. Can you see them? Just landed on that water lily. It's all going on in Cheshire today. They're obviously reproducing and um, no doubt after they've joined together in that um, exercise of copulation probably, <laughs> one of them will go away and land on the edge of a, a water lily and dip its tail in the water. I have seen, I've seen, there it goes doing it for us almost on cue, can you see it? Dipping its tail into the water probably laying an egg. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. I'll just hold on that for a moment. I'm, you can't see me, I'm stood with a camera on the end of a selfie stick, getting as close as I can over the edge of the water. Oh, there's a number three. I'm going to manage a toire now. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at the water lily there that's uh, come up. Exquisite water lily. Water lily pad. Duckweed. And there's another flower about to pop up down here. Wonderful. Well. I hope you've got that, because I really do feel that we've been blessed with some pretty spectacular sights there. Want a quick overview of the wildlife pond, for those of you that have not seen it. Six metres in diameter, a metre deep, ledges all around the edge, a cobble beach here so that any hedgehogs can get out, a wildflower meadow at the back there, a log pile down here, buddlier butterfly bushes, and the twig pile, which is basically all the trimmings from the buddleia every time I prune it. And then all kinds of different water plants. Um, and in the process of creating several more little, what I'm calling moats, but ponds around the circumference here, which are going to have more water lilies in it. And these have created these mounds, which have got lots of ferns and Jurassic jungle plants in. 
and that's the entrance to the Jurassic Jungle Garden there. Right, I shan't, uh, that big thing's just appeared again, so I'm tempted to get some more footage, but uh, I don't want to bore you to tears with my uh, enthusiasm for it, insects, but um, let's just see what happens. We'll give it 10 more seconds to land in front of the camera, and if it does, we'll get it. If it doesn't, I shall say goodbye. There it goes. Six, five, four, three, and it has done. Thank you, nature. See you soon for some more wildlife pond adventures. Bye for now.